The 20th century saw the beginning of an age of the luxury liner. From 1912, when the Titanic briefly ruled the waves to the conversion of these luxury liners to troop duty, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans saw some great queens of the sea. These liners were floating hotels, but like the Titanic, some met with disaster. In the late summer of 1939, the proudest ship of the French line, the Normandy, made her last voyage. Sailing westward from France, she made quite a picture to the anxious folks on the shore. She caused tremendous excitement as she sailed majestically into New York Harbor. The harbor, incidentally, which was the destined to be her icy grave, a mysterious fire broke out as she lay in the New York Harbor, immobilized by the war. Now the questions arise, was it an accident? Was it sabotage? Or was it a direct act of war? Millions of dollars finally slipped into the waters of the Hudson River on February 9, 1942, as underwater salvage operations failed to save her great beauty and her great wealth. Now, closer to our own hearts was the tragedy of the excursion boat Morrow Castle, which cost the lives of 130 vacationers when it caught fire off the east coast of the United States at Asbury Park. Spectators that were watching from the shore saw the smoldering wreck as the summertime gaiety turned into a nightmare of death. This was a grim ending for a search for pleasure. The sea holds both mystery and terror. High seas can bring disaster. And when combined with a ship in trouble, death can strike quickly. A sea tragedy which had its moments of real glory was that of the Esbranson Lines Flying Enterprise. On January 10th, 1952, this brave fighter fought out her life against the waves. Her captain, Henri K. Carlson, in the tradition of the sailing men, battled for 12 solid days to save her, would not leave his ship. But Captain Carlson was forced to abandon his ship, about 30 miles off the coast of southwest England. One of the most spectacular shipwrecks to make world headlines was the sinking of the Andrea Doria on the night of July 25, 1956. This elegant Italian liner collided with the Swedish Stockholm off Nantucket Island, Massachusetts. The Stockholm got away with just a torn bow. But the Andrea Doria sank with the disaster toll of 52 passengers dead, 1,600 rescued. A strange twist of fate that this unsinkable ship could sink. <laughs> 